Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Place Salt and Sacrifice, what I'm calling New Beginnings, because last time we started a new character. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong. So this is Silverina. She is currently a level 7 paladin. So we are actually going with the sword and board build, and uh, we did just take out our first mage last time. We have our trusty grapple hook, and uh, yeah, we did get a new sword and shield combo which we are wielding right now, but we can't actually use the magical aspect of it because it is a forbidden glyph. And we need, I believe, five more points in order to get there. So we are going to probably head... Hmm, do we want to go to Balgaron yet? That seems... That seems early. That seems early. No, let's go back to Ashbourne Village. Let's do some more exploration. I know we have several more mages here that we need to hunt. Uh, we have at least the, the Hydromancer... And we have the... Who else do we have? I'm trying to think. <laughs> well, we have the Venomancer, right? And we have the... Whoa, okay. Now all that is just looking beautiful. Heads up now. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm curious about how the guard... How have I not activated this? just about how the guarding and the actual uh, I can't really take out this guy not with this not with this weapon set uh, but the guarding and the you know perfect blocks and all that anyway not forming thoughts which is pretty difficult but you know what I noticed is that last time we were able to let's just need a berry here we were able to get some repost animations even before... Ooh, there's some lightning outside. That'll be interesting to see how that goes. Hopefully I don't lose any power here. Oh. Kill you. And I can't... Now, I can't make it up there. Oh, okay. That's on the other side of those wispy little, little trails. But yeah, it definitely seems like there is some sort of poise break. Not just... Uh, not just the uh, perfect deflection. There we go. Pull that up. Can't really do anything with. It. Although, oh, that's interesting. So I still need to build up that meter in order to use this magic. So it's not like I'm using mana. Like with the. Oh, can I use this one? Ah, that's one more. Okay. But like with the uh, the sage. And you actually used mana and the hazy decoctions in order to cast those. Okay. So let's let's see where else we can go here. How do I have so many that I haven't activated? I don't know. But we can go in here. I don't think I've been in here yet on this character. Just kidding, this is where you get the crap hook. Oh boy. This will be a this will be a long one. I think really what I need to do is head over to the right and go into the building. I think that's where I'm gonna find some more hunts. Not so much out here. Have I activated these and maybe they just stop glowing whenever you activate a new one? I'm I'm honestly not sure. Haven't been paying attention. All right, going down, going low. Seeing what oh this is this is where the big guy is. Oh, and you can't be uh, hit yet, huh? Oh can can I open? Nope. Two more. Yikes. Oh, that's gonna be a big hit. And all I did was try to get a berry. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're out. Got me. Never mind. Okay, so two more name to go down here. Yeah, see that? I actually broke his guard. Interesting. I wonder... I wonder exactly what that looks like. So that's just above him. Yeah, and this is just the beginning again. So really, I've done a really, really long way around here. Um, also, did it just look like there's something over there? Hmm. Okay. 
It looked like there was some sort of opening. Come on now. Come on. Oh, that is just, once again, the one thing that I'm never gonna get used to is the fact that there's no additional momentum from sprinting. If I go outside right now, all right, and I could t I could do this test, but you're not here to even prove me uh, right or wrong. If I jump, I will make it so many feet. Let let's say from a standstill, I can I can do let's say six foot. I think that that's pretty reasonable. And then I'm allowed to I'm allowed to get a running start. I am going to make it much further. Probably probably a solid nine or ten feet, right? I don't think that's beyond beyond the scope of reason. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, let's rest and resupply. And then we are just going to head right up into, <laughs> look where we are. We're just back here. You don't have anything to say, do you? Okay, so now you're heading to Partner's Vale, which is perfect. The tree just wants to send me to Bulgaran. You are just a nightmare, so I will leave you alone. Yeah, let's, uh, let's head up. Let's head up. Go back into the buildings. And I guess there's no way down, huh? Right? Unless, you know, there's... I feel like I remember some things in Salt and Sac uh, Sacrifice where they kind of hid things with some things in the foreground. They kind of block some of the... Uh, I don't know if there's so much hidden areas, but... All right, let's do this. Remember, we can just kind of go around. Use his hooks to bypass that big guy. Perfect. Yeah, let's head up. Let's head up as much as we can and over to the right. And it's definitely raining out right now, so we may get some thunder here. And if we get some thunder, it may get pretty loud. There's another mage hunt. Uh, need my stamina. Stamina. There we go. Got him. All right. So who do we have now? This is Kundri Khan. He's the Hydromancer, I believe. He is indeed. Which means that this weapon may not do so hot. I think. You're way down there. Do we want to go down and actually hunt you? Probably. Oh, go for that chest. Yeah, that's that's raining pretty heavy. <laughs> you might actually hear that. I didn't. Oh, that's right. This is going to lead me to the hideout key eventually. Oh, that you are almost certainly hearing that rain. I don't know how atmospheric that's going to be, or just annoying. Kind of in the middle of recording though, so we'll have to roll <laughs> roll with it as best we can. I apologize. I hope it's just not too noticeable. It almost certainly is, though. All right, here we go. I See, this is what I like. This is what I love. This is what I want more of. I want more just traversal and exploring. That's what I want to see. To me, that's fun. Just a whole lot of fun. All right, zipping all the way over. Back up, back up. Oh! Uh oh, whoa, oh, 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 we are very dead. Oh, zip, and zip. <laughs> we'll go back and try that again after a quick heal. Okay, that was pretty fun. Okay, got him. Excellent. Side. Excellent. I can, everything's excellent. Uh, yeah, like this is one of those examples. I wonder if you could maybe find some hidden areas in the foreground to drop down below. All right, and this is going to be the hideout key, right? Yeah, that's the hideout key. Great. That's how we get that surly individual who has the new kind of cooperation guild. All right. We're learning bit by bit. 
zip on over. And, yeah, okay, I don't think there was really anything else that way, but we can hop down carefully, maybe. Oh. Ow. Heal up. Okay. Oh, hey, we see that now. Can I? But So I can't disable that one. Interesting. Oh, can I open you? Nope. Not yet. Two more hearts there. Definitely rest and resupply. I will have to do a test though. Because it, you know, we might actually still do more damage. Just with the the added damage of the uh, the fire weapon. Even though he's going to be theoretically strong to it. And are you still down below? Where are you at? You are down below. So what I should do is actually get them both on my weapons list. So this is only 10 damage. I mean, it's 10 compared to 15.5. So I don't know. I may... But then again, I have Divine Blessing. You're not dead. What? What is happening? Oh, right, because I switched, and I just used Divine Blessing. Like a big, big dum-dum. All right. Not really thinking this through. I do have Guiltless Shards, right? I do. Come on, I want to get some perfect. Oh, this is not worth it. Oh, forget it. Just kill him. Great. Just take all the damage you can. Also, I'm using the wrong weapon against these guys. That's a poison bomb. I'm just going to eat a couple. Can you eat multiple? You can. That's kind of nice. So. Oh, I don't want to go up. Oh, no. Is this my only choice? Wait a minute. Wasn't there a little thingy here that I couldn't actually do anything with? And now it's gone? Thank you for grabbing that. Grab, grab, grab. Oh gosh, we're in trouble. Because there, there he is, there's the big guy. Heal up. Ah, frogs. Ah. Okay, so that was eight. Oh my goodness. Frogs, stop. Stop it. Okay, let's switch. So I did eight damage. I'm doing 17 damage. Yeah, he's not all that immune. Oh, no, more frogs. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Poor play, poor play. Yes, definitely continue the hunt. The, the medium roll is is not it's not my my favorite. I'm gonna have to put more points into that into my endurance. I believe it is. Did I just hit someone? Whoa! But did I just hit someone into someone else? Oh, this is cool. Because it kind of felt like I did. Nope, that's not where he is. He's down below. There's a trap. Nope, that's just a player message. Never mind. That's a trap. Nope, that's a player message. When in doubt, player message. Still down here, huh? Nope, nope. Oof. You really need to pick better time to loot. And by better time, just don't loot if there's someone there. Okay, there's, there's the big guy. Firebomb, five of them. 
That'll be really nice, actually. Ow. There's my salt. Grab that. Nope. Someone. I, I wanted fire bombs. Oh gosh, lobster. Rock lobster. Haha, <laughs> alright. And you are a oh, there's a couple of those haze burnt though right there. See, I'm, I'm never I'm never going to appreciate that. I think that, that is just a just a terrible mechanic, really. No. When when they're spawning in enemies and you can't actually do anything to them, they seem to actually have invincibility frames, but you are st you're at their mercy. No. So, while switching switching classes has helped, it, it hasn't made me fall in love with the game. Is it going to happen? I don't know. It may, it may not. But at some point, I'm going to have to not try and force it. Um, some of you have been been around when I played a game that I really didn't enjoy. Um, Ashen was, was one of those. By the end, I was not enjoying Ashen. I wish I did, but I was so ready for that game to be over. And it just became a abundantly clear that I was doing it just to get through it and and that's not it's not fun Re really and truly it's just not fun okay where's my salt right there all right okay and we can't ow what am I doing Another example of things that kind of irk me is you not being able to grab a ledge when there's, oh, and there's an enemy right there. <laughs> they kind of block you from doing so, and that's, I don't know. Even though it means I may take the hit, I would rather, I would rather take the hit in most cases because I, I've decided that myself. But I would rather still take that hit than, uh, than not make the jump, especially because of I could fall either to my death or just to a lot of damage. And that frog wasn't even facing me when he hit me. tough one to play just uh really really struggling with the the slow rolls and the uh the added stamina costs and now you're here fun thank you and oh you're wait you're down i thought you were up above oh Okay, so maybe hitting enemies into other enemies doesn't necessarily hurt them. Thought it did. I think that would have been a cool little feature. Okay, really good damage there, I think. Oh. All right, at least we got you. Got my salt back, and now you're up above. <laughs> Fun. That's. That's what this is. Oh, the salt. It's a good thing it's in the name because it is coming out. You get all the way up to them. You get a couple of hits only for them to run away and eventually make it to their arena where they decide to fight you. Unless it's not a named hunt where you just keep chasing them until you eventually, uh, hopefully, kill them. And if not, you know, too bad, so sad. Excuse me. Pardon me. Come through. And you are, yeah, you're right here. Oh, I mean, you are literally right there. Uh, 
that that's not gonna work. Um, of course, you just left anyway. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Don't stay in one space that's beneath you. All right, I think this is his arena, though. Yep, yeah, all right. Kundri Khan, the Drowned Behemoth. What? Can I? Would it be alright if I had a chance to move? Meh. Nah. This is a door I need, yeah, I need two more for that one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this, actually. I shouldn't be going for that. And one gonna spawn right beneath me. No? Alright. Oh, there's a nice stun. I need to heal though. Oh, watch big bubble. Big bubble. be water, I suppose. Okay, well, we got him, but I don't feel good about that fight at all. You know, the one thing that's really nice about doing this again is that uh, I don't have to worry about the achievements popping up, because I've done these before. Yeah, we're just going to go through that dialogue. I did just get another artifact. I got the card feline. Let's see. Less max health, more max stamina, and more poise, though. So that that's definitely for me. Okay. That's interesting that the poise looks like it had to be built up. Did you notice that? That was intriguing, to me at least. And nothing I can do up there. No. All right. Well, we got some salt. I don't think it's enough to go use that, that glyph. Well, I mean, what, what? How am I supposed to get down safely from that? Other than just splatting. This is still one more. Yep. All right, let's head back to camp. See what we can make. I'm still not sold, folks. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this series. Uh, you know, I know that I have several that I've started and stopped. If I don't make an official announcement, they're never quite truly dead. I'm, by the end of this, I might make the official call. So I'm just, I'm not feeling it. And it's sad to say, but it's true. All right, I like the idea of physical defense on this character. I do like the idea of additional poise, if that's actually going to keep me from being stunned. Like, what does this mean? Recover stamina in more situations. I don't know, but I'm gonna get it. And it's a charm. Oh, oh, that's my first amulet. Okay, so that's up to 20 poise. Put that on. I don't have any rings yet. I don't think I have enough to make any, do I? No, nope, can't do the molten ring. Can't do the bulwark ring, and those are the only two that I've actually killed. Alright, let's see how much how many levels this is gonna give me. Okay. 
Okay. Five. Actually, that might have been enough now that I think about it. Right? Because we had put one point... I thought we put one point towards the glyph. This one, right? That's channeling rods. Where's the... There's a forbidden glyph. So we need to go one, two, three, four, five. So I think we just unlocked it, right? We did. Oh, oh, Firestorm is a class four. Class four. So I have Blazing Blade. All right, let's go check that out real quick. Let's go give that a go and just see what we can do with it. I think I might actually go, let's go Balgarin. Let's go Balgarin. Start here. I can come back once I get that uh, Magnezin supply, which will allow me to activate those lifts. Then I can go back to the first area and kind of toil about there. I don't know if I need to talk to you for any reason, but I will. Okay, now, this guy likes to trade with me. Oh, there. Okay. As soon as he raises his hand, I just need to go ahead and get the block. There we go. And I'm not going to go down to that cave yet. I don't remember what was in there, but I th think the Magnezin was up this way, right? The Praying Giants. The land of the Praying Giants. Okay, nothing there. Feels like there should be. But I get it. I get it. Can't have secrets everywhere. Or anywhere. Uh, hello. Oh, it's a tree again. Ahem. Ahem. Yes? Greetings, I and the voice of the plains. I speak for the sand, rocks, trees, and creatures that cannot speak. Your type is strange, and your customs are strange. Your buildings are strange. You see that temple to the west? It is strange. Creatures like you built that temple, dwelled in that temple, and served the gods in that temple. They served gods by slaying the living. Many seasons passed, many were slaughtered. One season I saw an army of those who looked like you storm the temple built long ago by those that looked like you. The army butchered every living thing in the temple. Then it left. The plains became still and then the mages appeared. Now mages are everywhere, haze is everywhere. That is my message. You are strange, I have spoken. That, you know what? Accurate. You did speak. I am strange. Didn't mean to drink that. There we go. Now is that an instant death? No. Nope. There we go. All right. I like I like the blocking mechanic. I do. I can get on board with that. I don't remember here where I'm supposed to go. But I can't activate these pulleys. And that's a locked door. Alright, guess I'm gonna go up. I haven't I haven't earned enough of these whatever points to use my blazing blade. Two. Okay, not enough yet still. Okay, remember, Blue. <laughs> you cannot jump through that platform. All I wanted to do... Oh, uh, let's rest. All I wanted to do is see this blazing blade, though. I meant to harvest that crystal. Instead, I tried to whack it. And 
And that's just a long way to get some blaze pyre. Although, I mean, I could upgrade my weapon in theory. Which could be worth it. I mean, the best thing this game has going for it is the fact that you can, you know, hit those little rocks with the daintiest little chisel. And that just loops back around. So obviously I'm still missing my magnesium supply, which is not here. And now I have completely gotten rid of whatever points I had been accumulating, making it even more difficult, near impossible to try my blazing blade. Is it down below? Really and truly, why doesn't a repose give you bonus points? It feels like it should. I mean, it takes a little more skill to do that, right? It, it actually seems like my best bet is just light attacks, not even combos. Alright, this is where it's going to get hairy. And I'm either going to get real excited about how I do here or really sad. enough now oh we do have enough do I want to use it probably that oh geez that might have been the right time to use it oh, goodness okay that was a good kill and it's already gone isn't it wow yeah it doesn't last a whole long long time huh Well, yep, no, I don't know. I think, I think I have to make the decision. It's, and it's honestly not an easy one. I'm not having enough fun with this, even on a different build, to spend my time playing it and recording it and sharing with you. I may try to do a live stream with it to see if maybe just, you know, in a more casual setting I have more fun, but um, yeah, I hate to say it, but I think this is going to be the last, at least for now, video on Salt and Sacrifice. I do apologize if you've been enjoying it, and uh, if you're enjoying the game, that's great. I would never in a million years try and dissuade you from doing so. It's just not meshing with me. So on that note, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and even though it may not be with this game, I will see you next time.